Hello, well it's day 75 of Sydney's COVID lockdown and it's lockdown number 20. We've made it to the end of the first decade of the 1900s in terms of these origin uh, cocktails and we're doing the mojito, perfect for the warming Sydney weather. Now in some ways this is similar to the Capriana that we did uh, the, uh, just the other day, uh, starting with lime and I like to, uh, to use a whole lime here cut up into about a dozen segments nice and fresh, uh, fresher the better, make sure that's got plenty of juice to come out. And um, some sugar, cane sugar's fine. I love the taste as if you've been watching these videos, you'll know of brown sugar, so I'm using 20 grams of brown sugar. And I start by giving that a little bit of a muddle, very, very similar to the Caprioni, uh, which is uh, a Brazilian cocktail, whereas this is much uh, more Cuban. Um, cocktail but very similar ingredients so what you want to do is get that sugar dissolving you want to get as much of the lime juice as you can out of the the limes uh, you probably know that this is a mint cocktail but you really don't want to be over muddling the mint you sort of bruise it a little bit um, and uh, what I've got is about a dozen uh, fresh mint leaves and rather than muddling that in just really give that a, a stir you sort of don't want to overly bruise the mint. I'm using plenty of mint um, to get that mint flavour in there rather than sort of squeezing every ounce of mint out of it. And then you're going to get this really great variation of, um, of flavour. Then I'm going to add a glass of ice. This is another one of these mix in the glass cocktails. You can use pieces of ice like I have or you can use crushed ice, whatever, whatever you um, prefer. And then instead of this being a cachaça uh, cocktail, this is a rum cocktail, a white rum cocktail. It started with sort of rum agricole and the precursors to, uh, to rum. And then in the 1800s moved into, into rum. Bacardi spent an enormous amount on um, making this cocktail their own between the sort of late mid to late 1800s and through to the sort of 1940s and beyond. Um, use Bacardi by all means. Bacardi's the white rum that I've recommended if you're building your white spirits um, collection. But I'm gonna do this with plantation um, white rum. 60 uh, mils, I've got my uh, double jigger here so I can get a full 60 mil shot. If you're doing this at home, you can free pour it, but at least I guess if you, uh, if you do it this way, you know how much, uh, how much rum you're, uh, you're putting in your mojito. You might want to stir that through a little bit. You definitely don't want to over stir this cocktail. Part of the joy of this is getting some different flavors as you consume the cocktail. And then I guess the other difference to, to a cocktail like a Caprina is um, that you add a little bit of soda water. Uh, sometimes you put, if you're doing this with crushed ice, you can sort of get a full right to the top of the glass of crushed ice, get the right amount of soda water in there. I don't want to dilute it too much. I really do want to taste that rum taste all those, um, those ingredients in there. And then if you're gonna garnish it, garnish it with a sprig of, um, of mint. I don't always do that when I'm making them at home because the first thing I do is pull the mint out so that it doesn't sort of go on my nose. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay in lockdown. It certainly looks like it's gonna be extended with the numbers turning up again, helicopters flying overhead, ambulances out the front um, door. Hope you're doing okay, stay safe, go and make yourself a cocktail and uh, Join me for the next one. We're moving into the 1910 to 1920s bracket. Um, starting to see some really interesting cocktails that just squeezed in before uh, US Prohibition. Uh, that is very refreshing. Bye for now.